toning our background there are some obvious perks first you will never use too much of white wash with this background it will be a kind of a mediator between your brush and the uh, and the canvas so your brush will not be will not be wearing off that much and it will be mixing with other paintings so that finally you will have a harmonized whole picture and if you use uh, your paintbrush and you have some kind of uh, uncovered with color spots they, there will not be that bright white color lightning from the background why did we use that dark color? What we need here is intensity. Maybe now we... It seems to us that it's maybe too intense. But if you feel like um, making it a little bit lighter, you just add some white wash in it. Usually for such kind of works you can you can use paint roller. It's much easier. Now we make the outlines. Uh, just hold the pencil like this and cut the silhouette. So don't make them rounded. They should be cut with angles. Later we'll round them up. It's better to make all the flowers of the different sizes and of different colors maybe to add some different character to them. Now we start with quite dark colors. Don't be afraid of that darkness. The shades should be very intense. It is very important not to get stuck at one point of your painting. The thing is that you should get some kind of um, mm, pleasure of this kind of work. Otherwise, it will be just a kind of labor. Maybe you could even like it, but finally, it is not the art. You just try to express yourself, be free and spontaneous, don't stuck on your model. Such canvas could be done in two hours. You see that we use no whitewash at all, no white colors only bold open tints you also should pay attention um, to the body of your painting colors it should be kind of um, yogurt like body so add enough oil in it so that it's thick and uh, liquid enough Here, if you have some excessive paint on the painting brush, you may just use it all over the background and all over the painting so that finally all the parts of your painting are interconnected. I would like to ask you also how, how not to uh, make it, make my painting like, like kids' painting. Okay, so here is the answer. Actually, um, 
You should not try to be to paint academically or botanically. Don't stuck on details. Um, don't get obsessed with it. You just express uh, your emotions and your impressions on canvas. Just the only thing you should um, follow up is colors. Don't make um, mistakes and overtones. This is important. <laughs> it's quite difficult to guess what color to take inside of that tulip. Well, not, not that difficult. Maybe after 40 years it will be okay for you. Now, I would not agree with you. Like 10, ten paintings with... Um, um, with attention, with with reflection, and you will find out your way how to paint your uh, your canvas. And what I would advise to you, it is very helpful to take a picture of your um, of your paintings, like every fifth, um, every, every five or ten minutes. Um, and finally, at the end, if you see that you don't like something in your paintings, you may always look up what happened and find the point where you, you took the wrong turn. Okay, so so far I see that we are only drawing the shades, it's the, the, the tints are very dark. Yes, that's right, this is what oil painting is about. You start with the dark colors, and then um, you only use lighter colors. It's strongly preferred. Um, and after first layer, I, I would advise you to soften the outlines a little bit. Otherwise, if you have um, Mm, two contrast lines, two straight lines. You will you will finally have a flicker before your eyes. Um, you should feel where to soften the outlines uh, and where to leave it contrast in, in contrast. Uh, you always should work with the closer tints all together so it's not that bad if you mix a little bit the red color and the brown color well maybe brown and green color would be not that good but sometimes it's acceptable but what you should um, react um, like in a moment is dirt on your painting. Yeah, sometimes when you start um, getting stuck on these details, you paint to detail, then you just overwork the whole painting and you have dirt at the end. The secret is that if, if, even if you take the brush and it has some some colors rest on it, uh, you take other colors and without any push, just with slight stroke, you, apl you apply it on, on canvas and you see no dirt. Whilst when you push stronger, you'll have that trace of the previous color. Now let's get down to the background. Don't forget that it should be subordinate part of the painting. It is important, but it should not be uh, in conflict with the main object. Um, we, we also take quite a dark background here. It works like this also with very, very light, um, very clear uh, colors. Like, for instance, when I'm painting peonies or tulips, well, kind of. And you are trying to uh, create some kind of abs abstract um, 
Just abstract movements, abstract strokes on the background. How do you get this? Well, you just don't think about the effect. You, you just feel it and what works here is your sense of taste. Uh, all the aesthetics that you have, all the background. If you feel like making it in the right way, you'll have a very good picture at the end, a very good painting. It's better to do it when the canvas are already dry. So far it's not very good to work in this technique. Okay, so look at this. I take quite dark, intense color. So now we only have shades. And now we have something to work with. With the bold, dark background, uh, we make the over um, the undertones and the lights. Okay, don't, don't make it black, but it should be dark and saturated enough. Okay, Irina, um, I will go further. Don't do anything with your painting so far. So still, we don't have to use white color, not yet. So we create something interesting on our background. What is important that um, you should also work with lighter colors. You just flatten the colors all over the canvas. And somewhere you have these overlapping colors, which, you, which are quite interesting. You may um, you may reach the same effect with the with flat brush with long bristles. You see, over here, it looks like the sunlight falls on the sleeve. You see that here we, we, we didn't use the whitewash, and here we did. And you see that the effect is different. The effect is different. Well, of course, we cannot do without white color somewhere. You see that now we only give the audience, our beholder, a kind of a hint that 
There exists a flower and all the rest is not necessary. And we'll we'll make a, a slight shadow, a slight shade on our leaf. We don't even have to create this flower. It's just mm, a seemingly material object. Sometimes such slight overtones are very important to make your painting material. Okay, so here we sprayed a little bit, sprinkled our painting with colors and now we remove the parts that we don't like, that are not very good. Only the ones we need. Some of them we just remove with, with dry brush. <coughs> So, all around the painting, you should be um, you should be confident. You should be emotional. Otherwise, you will have just dumb, boring painting. Don't be afraid of spontaneous strokes, casual strokes. At first, you may not like that kind of painting. And if you have somebody who is, who is criticizing you, just give him a bloody nose, really. And just enjoy the process. That doesn't look strange that it not happened to be as we planned it. We planned um, a stem here. No, it's it's okay. It's also, you know, just a kind of a treasured. And this leaf is also a very nice leaf. Uh, it shows some dynamics. It's not quite green even, but in our set of axes, it's okay. It's like mm, the leaf is almost clear here, though it does not exist in the reality. So, you should not try to create, to, to paint the tulips themselves. Just paint the tulips in some magical space, in some, in your own universe. And this your universe, they are quite organic. They are, they look natural in this universe. And this kind of work, this kind of painting is not going to be, um, to wear off, to, to bore you. Uh, because if you had a kind of an um, academical painting, just plain one, you would look at it once and after two or three sites, uh, after two, two or three views, you would know everything about this painting and finally you would not like it anymore. Though that kind of inconsistent work, of inconsistent painting, they are always interesting, you'll always find something new in it.
Oh, uh, Oleg, can I, uh, can I ask you a question? Shall we fix this um, painting with some kind of lacquer, maybe? Well, yeah, this is preferred. Um, not now. We should wait for a couple of months, maybe a year even. And uh, later the colors would be even brighter. It will be even brighter than now. If you use a s um, sprayed lacquer, uh, you can use it even like in two months. Mm, the first layer should be thin and uh, the other one could be thicker. And you can use styrene acrylic emulsion for this kind of fixing.